Welcome to the first video of mine. Today we recreate a fun little game utilizing Rust's electricity system. First of all, we should find another place to build. This area seems quite dangerous. Welcome to the plateau, a region devoid of any grubs, a vast emptiness. I said a vast emptiness where the mind is left but to wander. The plan is simple, recreate the beloved game Simon Says in Rust. For anyone unfamiliar, in Simon Says a machine comes up with a color sequence. This is shown to the player and their task now is to repeat said sequence in the same order. If they succeed, one more color is added to the sequence and the game repeats itself until a wrong input was given. As per usual, there will be multiple sub-circuits that once combined will create the entire game. We'll start simple and then add bit by bit. Here we have an example for a one color sequence. The color the machine picked is shown here. Let's call it the computer color. On the other side we have the color chosen by the player. The player color. If the computer color and the player color match, the outcome is a success. If not, it's a failure. Ok, let's recreate this with wires. These four switches shall represent the computer color. Meaning this time the computer color is blue and yellow in this example. For the player input we use four buttons, one for each color the player can choose from. The logic for the outcome can easily be achieved by combining the outputs from the computer color with the outputs from the player color. We indicate the outcome with these two lamps. Let's see if it works. Say the computer has chosen red. And it works. For red, we do in fact see a success and for the other colors a failure. Just like this we have a miniature version of Simon Says working. Splendid. One thing our current circuit doesn't account for is that the computer color is chosen at random. Well, if only there was a handy gate that could help us here. Meet the RAND switch. What does this yellow beast of a component do? Well, it's random, but that's exactly what it's supposed to do. If we use it in a bit more complex circuit, we can make it do what we want. Don't worry, all it does is choose one or four options at random. When we hook it up to the previous circuit, the computer now automatically chooses the next color at random. Splendid! Let's take it to the next level, quite literally. Because if we go back to our schematic, all we are doing currently is choosing one color at random over and over. What we actually want to do is to create a sequence of colors. Therefore, the computer should not only choose one color at random, but multiple. Sure, we just take the existing circuit and copy and paste it multiple times. Well, yes, but actually no. We want multiple colors chosen, but how do we know which of these colors is the next one in the sequence? We need to figure out a way to go from one color to the next one in a certain order. Meet the shift register. What does it do? It is a circuit that can iterate through multiple points. Our current value is where the light is lit up. Every time we hit this button, the circuit shifts over to the next step. We can use this as a variable. Let's call it the sequence variable. The player should press the color wherever the variable is currently. If we hook all of it up, it's now possible to complete a longer sequence of colors. Just like this, we are one step closer to completing the game. Speaking of which, what splendid game shall I do next? Write it down in the comment section. Also like and subscribe, otherwise this grub will door camp your base. Let's review what we have so far. The computer starts by randomly choosing a sequence of colors. The player then inputs a color. If it was the right one, the sequence variable goes one up and the player needs to input the next color. We are almost done with the core game, but there's one thing missing. Currently the sequence is of fixed length. There's no way for us to increase it. 
we would like to have one color in the first level, two in the second, and so on. A circuit is needed that can act like a variable we can increase. Where have I heard that before? Right, the shift register. Just introduce a second variable. Let's call it the level variable. Here's an example where the player is in level 3. As before, the player progresses by pressing the right colors. Once the sequence variable and the level variable match, we know that the sequence is complete. Now we can start with a sequence that is one longer. For that, we reset the sequence variable and increment the level variable by one. With our new variable, the game gets harder and harder. Well, that completes the core game. I think there are some improvements that could be made, but I wouldn't bother you going through these as well. What I did was adding the showcase up front, sound effects for each color, and these nice animations for completing a sequence or for losing a game. And with that we have... Also when you lose. And now it's your task. Simon says hit the subscribe button. Splendid.